Okay, continuing with unit with unit six in parallel lines. This is lesson three. Doing flow proofs, just using uh, flow proofs using algebra as your reasoning. Okay, so you just have to show your algebra steps in your flow proof. You might like these better. Okay, let's start with this one. We're given these coordinates for these four points. How can we see if AC, if segment AC is parallel to segment BD? Well, what does it mean to be parallel? Remember, that means that they have the same slope. So we have to find the slope of AC and the slope of BD and see if they are the same. Okay? Well, the slope of AC is to remember the difference in the y's, so 8 minus 5 over the difference in the x's, 3 minus 2. Get 3 over 1, that equals 3. The slope of BD is 5 minus a negative 1, that's going to be 5 plus 1, and 6 minus 4. So 6 over 2 is 3. So then you can just state that since 3 equals 3, that they have the same slope, so that they are parallel. So that's not bad, right? Okay, well what if we wanted to show that two lines were perpendicular, two segments were perpendicular? Well, if they're parallel, they have the same slope. If they're perpendicular, they have opposite reciprocal slopes which means the opposite sign and their, the fraction is turned upside down, okay, the reciprocal. All right, so that means let's find the slope of segment JO and the slope of segment HN and see if they are perpendicular. Okay, so again, the slope of find JO Take the difference in the y's, 1 minus the negative 3, it's going to be 1 plus 3, 4, 5 minus 2 is 3. So the slope of JO is 4 thirds. Now the slope of HN, try not to get too much away, is 2 minus negative 1, it's 2 plus 1, and 4 minus 8. So that's going to be 3 over negative 4. And sure enough, 4 thirds and negative 3 fourths are opposite reciprocals. Therefore, we can say that those two segments are perpendicular. Okay, what if we wanted to prove that an angle is a right angle? Well, what do you know about right angles? that we can figure out using coordinates. Well, right angles are formed when two lines are perpendicular to each other, right? Definition of perpendicular. Two lines are perpendicular, they form a right angle. So if we can find the slope, and again, if this is SIT, okay, SIT, and we want to know if angle I is a right angle, then we're going to have to find the slope of SI, and we're going to have to find the slope of IT. Now, if they are perpendicular to each other, then it'll look like this, and that will be a right angle. If they're not perpendicular, then they're going to have some other angle there. All right, so let's figure out what the slope is so that uh, of SI to see if it's perpendicular to IT. Okay, the slope of SI, 5 minus a negative 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, 4 minus a negative th 3 is 4 plus 3 is also 7. So the slope of SI is 1. Now let's find the slope of IT. Okay, so 4 
minus 5 over 5 minus 4. So that's going to be negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. And 1 and negative 1 are opposite reciprocals because 1 is the same as 1 over 1 and negative 1 is the same as negative 1 over 1. Okay, so we know that SI is perpendicular to IT, therefore angle I, is I, not 1, is a right angle. And that's it for our third and final lesson for Unit 6.